are heading back to Alabama. We just left Los Angeles or Hollywood, California. And uh, we're on I-40 right now. Uh, it's like a 27 hour straight drive there. Uh, of course, we're not gonna go all the way 27 straight. So it'll probably take us about three to four days to get there. Uh, on I-40 alone, we have over 1,200 miles to go. So we have a uh, foot, 15 foot U-Haul behind us and my, we're also pulling my Porsche. So, and then we got our dog right here, Buddy, and my wife's videoing right now. So we got a long journey ahead of us. We are still in California and it is almost eight o'clock and we are about to fill up. Uh, this is our first, no second, time to fill up the truck and I don't even know how many miles we've went. We've been on the road for about four hours so it's gonna be a lot of gas to, uh, to go. are just now pulling onto the interstate after filling up and I thought that it was full it did 20 gallons and 88 dollars and some change and we aren't even three quarters of a tank and we just filled up maybe two hours ago um, we're back at it filling up gas seems like the highlight of this trip getting a little bit tired but not too bad we're gonna go on for a few more hours hopefully and uh, we're still intact just filling up the gas luckily this one's like an auto pump the last two that I filled up I've had to hand pump and it's it takes forever so anyways just want to give you all an update it is bright and early for us at least it's 10 o'clock and we are leaving the hotel The start of day two, and we are pulling out of the hotel, getting back on I-40, and it's time to get started back on this journey back to Alabama. Here we go. So we're at the start of day two, and it's not off to a great start. Um, had some serious gas issues with this little guy about to stink us out of the cab. Horrible. It's rough. Really rough. Like, something bad in here. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Bring some gas mask. <laughs> Pit stop. We are at Burger King. And I'm about to come in here and get some french fries and maybe the double bacon cheeseburger. Probably like two of them. So well, I got the A1 uh, bacon cheeseburger meal from Burger King. Check this out. Look at this. Crazy, huh? Black bun. <laughs> and then uh, two bacon cheeseburgers, medium fry, and some root beer. So this may not be the healthiest option for you, but if you're looking for sheer taste, a little mayonnaise, a little ketchup, combine it together, and then you dip your fry in it, put your burger in it. Mm, so good. We are on our sixth fill up of the trip so far. 
It's $2.09. So back in LA, it costs $4.09 per gallon. We are in Oklahoma, I believe, and it's $2.09. So it's slowly getting cheaper and cheaper, and I'm loving it. Trying to fill this bad boy up. It takes a little over 30 gallons. So it's going to take a while. going into day three and we are somewhere in Oklahoma right now I think right outside of Oklahoma City and uh, gonna think it's about eight and a half more hours we're finally gonna make it to Alabama tonight excited to finally get there um, it's been a hell of a journey so far we're still not done yet so time to load up the bags and yeah, we were so packed that even my Porsche packed. <laughs> it's so bad that we have to even put our bags in the driver's seat. And then when we get there and offload, we gotta take the bags out and drop them on the ground. So it's, the struggle's real. So it is day three and we are on our way, still on the way to Alabama. We uh, are in Arkansas right now and it's been a crazy journey so far. We've, uh, I'll tell you the highlight that I can remember for the most part is this dog farting non-stop and just stinking us out of the whole cab every day for hours so that's that's one of my highlights and then back in like I don't know maybe Oklahoma or maybe it was Texas we passed a cattle field it was so bad like I thought rolling down the I know it came from the outside but I thought it was like trapped in the cab so I rolled down the window and made it 10 times worse. So I rolled it up, but I, I luckily had a cotton shirt on and it kind of kind of helped a little, but not much. We are uh, about six and a half hours away from Alabama. And we're excited to get out of the cab and finally be there. Gaslight is on, and I didn't really realize it until it was like 38 miles to empty. I passed one gas station because it creeped up out of nowhere, and I couldn't slam on the brakes fast enough. And now we are right at 10 miles uh, until we run out, and I may be smirking, but I'm freaking out because <laughs> I don't want to walk, and I don't know where the heck I am. So, I don't want to walk either, Colin, so... We better have a gas station within 10 miles. We're on Highway 72, and we have no clue when the next gas station is. It's about to rain also. It's about to rain, <laughs> and it has been raining. And all we see is this. I think the grass and trees. So... Look at this. We are, there's an Exxon gas station. Thank goodness. Check this out. We are right at nine miles to empty before we like totally run out. We're pulling in on fumes. And uh, we, get, we definitely got lucky on this one. I'm hoping we even make it there. We're, no way. The light's not on. I don't know if they're closed. They're closed. Holy crap. Oh no. 
Oh, oh shit, there's another one. How do we get over there? Oh, this is a situation. How the heck do we get over there? Physically go in. Ah, kill me. 